friends! Wow, it's already the last day of VBS. No! Our theme this year for VBS has been Rocky Railway. Jesus' power pulls us through. So far, we learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. And we took a look at Ananias' story of when he helped Saul regain his sight. And Pastor Sarah taught us that Jesus' power gives us hope. And she shared the story about Paul's shipwreck and how he encouraged everyone on the ship not to put their hope in a lifeboat, but put their hope in God. And today, our lesson is going to be Jesus' power helps us be good friends. In other words, Jesus' power helps us be God's church. But before we dig into our lesson, let's praise God with the new songs we learned at VBS this year. So let's stand up and give our best as we sing and dance and worship God together. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory Jesus made a place in heaven for me Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train this train this in you Jesus you're all you're all you're all that we need your power will pull us through we're trusting in you we're trusting in you you give us hope and life that's forever you make us bold and we stand together journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Space. 
faces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus You're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you We're trusting in you
Our Bible lesson for today is Jesus' power helps us be good friends. It comes from Acts chapter 2 and it goes like this. After Jesus ascended into heaven, the disciples returned to Jerusalem. When they arrived, they went to the upstairs room of the place where they were staying. And they all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. One day, suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the entire house. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest upon each of them. But nobody was burned by the fire. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues or languages. Now, there were many God-fearing Jews from many different nations and countries that were staying in Jerusalem. Some of the places that they came from were Pamphylia, Phrygia, Cappadocia, Egypt, Libya, Pontus, and Asia, and Rome. When they heard the sound of languages spoken, a crowd came together. They said, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own languages. Some were amazed, some were confused, asking, what does this mean? And some made fun of them, saying that Jesus' followers had too much wine. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and addressed the crowd. And he explained how they could speak in different languages. Friends, these people did not drink wine. It's only 9 a.m. A prophecy from long ago has come true. God promised that he would pour out his Holy Spirit upon his people. Jesus of Nazareth was God's son. He rose from the dead and ascended or went up to heaven and God sent the Holy Spirit just as he promised. Let everyone know for certain that God made this Jesus whom you crucified to be both Lord and Messiah. Messiah means the promised Savior. When the people heard Peter's message, it pierced their hearts. They felt it very deeply. They were filled with sorrow and regret and wondered how they could make things right between themselves and God and the Messiah. They cried out to Peter and the other disciples, What shall we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. He shared many other words and he warned them and pleaded with them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. The disciples devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. The Bible says that the believers were one in heart and mind. They agreed on this one thing, that is Jesus is the Messiah. He is the Son of God, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Prince of Peace, Emmanuel. He is the Holy God who ate 
lived and walked on this earth among sinners. And with Jesus' power, the believers shared with others about who Jesus was and the mighty and wonderful works that he did and his heart for people. They encourage others to turn away from sin and turn to God. For God loved the world so much that he sacrificed his only son, Jesus. He gave his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And whoever believes that God did this for you will have life everlasting or a life forever with God. God wants to be present in your life. Jesus' power helps us be good friends, but more than that, Jesus' power helps us be God's church. Even though Jesus is no longer here on earth, his followers can still come together and be united because of the Holy Spirit that lives in our hearts. And through God's Holy Spirit, we can encourage and serve and love others with the same love that God showed us through Jesus. Let's pray for our hearts and for our church that God's Holy Spirit will guide and shape and mold us to be the church that will bless others with God's love. So we'll put our hands together and close our eyes. Dear God, we thank you that you are a God who is present and wants to be with his people. We pray that you will help us grow in our friendship, our fellowship with you, and um, we pray that you will use our church to bless others with the same love that God you showed us first. So we thank you God for your love and we thank you that you call us to be a part of your church. In Jesus name we pray, amen. Thank you guys for joining me today in our Bible lesson. And up next is our imagination station. So stay tuned. We'll see you later. Bye. So to make the flexagon, we're going to use this size paper and we're going to cut it from a piece of regular printer paper. So we have our regular printer paper and we're going to fold it in half like a hamburger and then we're going to open it back up and we're going to take one corner and fold it to the middle like this, take the other corner, fold it to the middle like this and then we're going to flip it over and fold down so we have this long rectangle on one side and then once you open it back up we're going to cut along this line and that will give us this piece of paper. So it'll be like this, you cut this off, and we don't need this anymore. Okay, so now lay your paper like this vertical, and then you're going to fold down the middle first, open it back up, and then you're going to fold both sides into the middle like this. So one side this way, and one side this way like this. Next we're going to take this and we're going to fold it at all of these lines here. So I'll move this up here so you can look at it and then here's what we're going to do. So first we fold it into the middle like this and you fold it back out. Next we fold this part into the first line and then we drag this over to this line and we fold there. Then you take this one, and we turn this around. We do the same thing here. We fold it to the first line here, and then we drag this to this second line on the other side, and we fold down here. So we should have 16 small squares here, so eight strips. This next part is a little harder. You'll want to sketch lines here if you can see. So for every one box here, you're going to draw a diagonal line down two boxes. If you look on here, it'll form little diamonds. I drew out one with uh, thicker lines. 
So each intersection is going to be at a crease right here. And then once you draw those in, then we'll start folding onto all the lines. all the diagonal lines now we're going to make a circle with this so we're going to take one side and we're going to put it into the other side like this we want to insert it two square lengths usually if you look closely you'll see that one end is slightly shorter than the other so whichever side fits better you can just insert it like this not to crumple your paper and then you'll be left with something that looks like this so now when you look at your ring there's sections here that push in so we're going to push all of these in here. There should be three on each side. So it should look like a um, hexagon along the outside like this. Next, we're going to push in the hexagon like this so it's little triangles or bow tie looking shapes all around like this and like this and now you have your flexicon so you take this and you push it through and it's a be gentle, but it'll keep pushing through like this. 